we had a, we had a brief conversation. They said we were in breach of our franchise agreement because we were not following the health department's rules and laws. A Sandusky restaurant that made headlines for not closing is now losing its franchise agreement with Big Boy. Despite a statewide dine and service shutdown, Troy Tank says his Big Boy restaurant wasn't closing. The restaurant group then decided to cut ties with Tank's business. Started the process of um, removing some of the Big Boy stuff here at the location today. And we're going to continue to do that to make sure that um, we're not violating any, any portions of the contract. Tank says it's sad to have to separate from the famous diner after decades of partnership, adding that they're just going to continue on without them. He says they will still be a family diner, just not big boy. Tank says his restaurant hasn't been this busy in years. Ten times busier than we have been all quarantined, and even in my last recent memory of you know the last five or six years, I don't remember it being this steady and this consistent. A GoFundMe page has started to help with possible legal fees from the state, which has already raised over $7,000. Blue collar Americans up here in the sun, we don't like to beg for handout. That's not what we're doing. And like I said, hopefully in the long run, that money will never be, even be used for this restaurant um, or to pay any fines, because I don't think we're going to end up being held responsible to pay those. In Sandusky, Rachel McCrary, WNAM TV5. Big Boy released a statement regarding the Sandusky restaurant. It reads in part, Big Boy does not condone, approve, or support in any way the actions of this franchisee and is in the process of taking legal action to stop them from operating as a Big Boy restaurant under the present conditions.